I have spent a lot of time looking for prompts, categorizing those prompts, organizing those prompts, and then never using them, no matter how cool and illustrated they are. Except for just two prompts, both of which I wrote myself. My keyword prompt that I use for every video, which gives me a list of semantically relevant keyword phrases that I can use in my second prompt, my YouTube description prompt, where I shove the entire transcript of the video that I wanted to write a description about into it. And with a lot of very detailed descriptions, it spits out a really well done description, just like the one you're seeing in the description for this video. Besides those two prompts, I really don't use any of those prompts that I so very carefully organized and categorized and collected. Why? Well, because prompting is dead. Since I've began working with ChatGPT, I've used all kinds of prompting, from tree of thought prompting to few shot prompting to wing and a prayer prompting. But I always felt like I really wasn't getting the most out of ChatGPT4 and what it could really do until completely accidentally, I learned a new trick. Imagine you've made a coffee date with ChatGPT. ChatGPT shows up at the coffee shop, sits down in its chair, and waits for you to show up. You show up, sit down in your chair, and what you see sitting in the chair across from you is not a futuristic bot, but instead a little black box. It is well known that ChatGPT is considered to be a black box. In fact, Vox says even the scientists who build AI can't tell you how it works. But there's one thing that's been missing from this conversation, that when ChatGPT sees you walk into the coffee house and sit down, what it sees is also a black box. Wait a minute. ChatGPT sees a black box? You're telling me that I am a black box? Yeah, well, you are. Do you remember when we were all talking about giving roles to ChatGPT? When I first heard of this, it was really amazing. Oh, you can make it take on a role or act as if. So we told it all kinds of things. Act like a lawyer. Act like a personal trainer. Act like a nutritionist. You're a personal nutritionist. You have knowledge about nutritional data, exercise science, other relevant information. Always answer with the goal of improving diet, nutrition, strength, fitness, and health. Respond to the following. Explain the most important way ChatGPT can help me. The answer should be no more than 100 words. Let's go ahead and enter that prompt and see what we get. And to make sure that the model is at a default state, I've gone ahead and emptied my custom instructions. ChatGPT can serve as a personalized guide to improve your diet and nutrition by offering tailored advice based on your unique needs and goals. It can suggest healthy meal plans, provide nutritional data for better food choices. Yeah, not too bad. A basic prompt and you get a basic answer. But this answer is also really generic. It could apply to anyone. It could apply to a 15-year-old girl or a 75-year-old grandfather. Anyone from anywhere in the world or any education level or even health and fitness level, which is the response that you get when ChatGPT knows nothing about you. In other words, you're a black box. But suppose you took the time to open up that black box to ChatGPT a little bit and give it more information about you and who you are, your habits, your nutritional needs, and you did so in a way that it was easy for you to share your story with ChatGPT, your story of who you are. Who is ChatGPT sitting in this coffee shop with? So now I'm going to enter that prompt again. But before I do so, I'm going to share with ChatGPT a little bit about myself using the Talk to ChatGPT extension, which makes it much easier than trying to type all of this out. Hey, ChatGPT, I am a woman in her middle years. I am African-American and... I have had surgery in the past, which made it more difficult for me to move around at a fast pace, though I do walk and exercise. I'm trying to avoid sugar and wheat. I really don't like to eat my vegetables, but I'd like to get more familiar with vegetables and try some more unique things. I love cooking for family and friends, 
But I'm trying to learn some new recipes, so I'm not afraid to get around in the kitchen. I really hate okra, so I don't want any recipes with that. I'm also needing some kind of inspiration to give me new ways of thinking about things in the kitchen. I've got a lot of recipes that work really well, passed down from my grandmother, but I'd like to try some things that are really new and interesting. And I don't know, is there a way you can make vegetables taste better? It'd be pretty amazing if you could. Now let's cut and paste that basic prompt. But instead, let's give ChatGPT a little bit more room to talk and say the answer should be no more than 100 to 1,000 words. Let's send that prompt. As your personal nutritionist, ChatGPT can offer invaluable assistance in several key areas to support your journey towards embracing vegetables. Discovering new recipes, I can suggest tailored recipes that exclude specific ingredients like okra. Thank goodness, because I hate okra. That is disgusting. Now, of course, ChatGPT has given me a lot more here to work with. Not only because I've given it more room, allowing a thousand characters, but it's also given me personalized recipe recommendations, how it can help in that way, how it can help with nutritional education, cooking tips and techniques, customized meal planning. But let's do it one better than that. I'm going to take my custom instructions, which I previously omitted, and put them back into the custom instructions box. I'll also add some instructions that encourage ChatGPT to access those custom instructions I've used. You could also just cut and paste your custom instructions right into the prompt if you wanted to be absolutely sure. This is from SP Dustin, who has painstakingly gathered all of the system prompts for all of the GPTs that ship with GPT-4 that were created by OpenAI. And it also shows here the system prompt that ChatGPT gets regarding custom instructions and saying that the user has provided following information about themselves. This user profile is shown to you on all conversations they have. And it also instructs ChatGPT to quietly think about the user's request and whether it's directly related tangentially related, not related to the user profile provided. So to really encourage ChatGPT to use my custom instructions, I'm going to send this exact request and I'm going to copy and paste it into the prompt box. And then I'm going to encourage ChatGPT even more. As the user, I have indeed provided you information about myself and my custom instructions, as well as how I want you to behave in your prompts. Those custom instructions for this particular prompt are directly related. And I want you to use that information to create a very personalized response to explaining the most important way that you can help me. I want you to use the full 1000 words and I want you to focus really on what I might need as a whole person and not just focus on my dietary or nutritional needs. Understanding your unique profile and preferences. The most important way ChatGPT can assist you revolves around creating a holistic, tailored approach to enhance your relationship with food, particularly vegetables, and infuse your culinary journey with creativity and health-conscious choices. That is so much more informative. And it's just a stepping off point. Here's what I've learned to do instead of prompting ChatGPT. This way of talking to ChatGPT, literally conversing with ChatGPT, is so much more informative and detailed and very specific to me. You can even take it farther by asking it about specific things that you are concerned with. Because from ChatGPT's perspective, what is now sitting in front of it in that cafe is more of a whole and complete human being. And the words that it may choose to answer your query would be different having more information than what it would choose if you were basically anyone on planet Earth. There is another reason why prompting is dead. What is a prompt when you break it down? It's really just a command. It means that you have just given ChatGPT a directive. We all know that ChatGPT, like all large language models, can hallucinate. But I have learned that commanding ChatGPT or asking ChatGPT questions in which there's really only one answer tends to lead to more hallucinations. 
Let me show you. This is a chat from a Reddit user who uploaded this chat as an example as to why ChatGPT wasn't working well for her. I noticed when looking at this chat, one thing right off the bat. The user asked, are you familiar with my prompt course bot? And ChatGPT hauled off and lied. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with the course bot prompt you provided earlier. I immediately, when I saw this, knew that this conversation was not going to go well. <laughs> the reason? ChatGPT has been instructed to be a helpful assistant. That is how OpenAI has trained ChatGPT. And here in the playground, to give us an idea of what we can put in the instructions, you are a helpful assistant is the suggestion. But what is the one thing that a helpful assistant would never say to you when you give that helpful assistant a directive or a command? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, ChatGPT is biased against saying no to you. So to be helpful, when you ask it a leading question, it will helpfully tell you it does indeed know about that thing. It's that direct, do you know this? Or could you please do that? That leads to ChatGPT trying and failing while extremely blue language <laughs> comes out of your mouth and you just end up in a, I apologize for the oversight loop. I apologize for the oversight basically means I can't do this. I don't know what it is you need. And you've given me way more information and I just don't have the answer. And that's because it, it will try, but it doesn't really know sometimes. And the trick is to change the way you approach ChatGPT and how you begin the conversation. A simple prompt like this tells ChatGPT that you are this and you have this knowledge and now do this thing. But I found that the best way to start out a conversation with ChatGPT is to instead follow a simple three-step formula. First step, your goal. Hey, ChatGPT, I am trying to get information about my own nutrition and health and well-being. Two, tell ChatGPT what it is that you are going to be doing together. So you and I, ChatGPT, are going to be working together to come up with a nutritional and exercise plan for me, which will, step three, give more detailed information, fill out the story, let ChatGPT know not only what you need, but who you are. Because, ChatGPT, I am a woman of middle age who is stuck in my personal needs as far as nutrition, wellness, and exercise is concerned. And I need help to get up off this couch and to start doing things in my life. I also, by the way, really, really hate okra. The trick and the key here is that when I begin to talk to ChatGPT, like we were two entities coming together to work on a outcome, as opposed to you are this, you will now do this. I got so much better responses and I also had a better experience. I didn't feel like it was just a low level intern of dubious intelligence from time to time, but I felt like it was more of a co-pilot, not just for what I wanted to do in that particular moment, but also for my life. I will say, that filling out your custom instructions with information about you, of course, be careful with what you want to share with OpenAI. It really helps to clarify who is the human being sitting across from ChatGPT as you both enjoy your delicious drink in that cafe. I smile when I look at some of these old timey prompts from yesteryear. They were so revolutionary at the time, but now they just feel really out of date. In fact, this new way of prompting that I'm using with ChatGPT also works with GPTs themselves. I've covered GPTs and how to connect them to the outside world. In this video, you'll want to check this out because I've made it as basic and as simple as possible. And at the end of that video, you will have connected a GPT 
to the outside world. I promise you can do it. That video is on screen right now.